what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here in this video i want to talk about what i think should happen in regards to the furthering of the jeepers creepers franchise as many of you know the uh creator of this series is writer and director victor salva he has a bit of a troubled past uh, a little some would call it more than just troubled very controversial stuff in regards to uh, several things that occurred behind the scenes of one of his films from the late 80s i believe it was called clown house uh still to this day that plagued his career due to the fact that now that we have the internet people are able to look things up they're able to find stuff out a lot more put them in the light whereas opposed to in the early 2000s when the original films came out uh, no one really had the internet the internet wasn't as big no one was really searching a lot of stuff but now with the way things are today everything relies on the internet people are active more active on the internet so you kind of have this issue now where it's harder for him to make movies now without having any backlash because of the fact that the internet is such a big deal now that's not making any excuses for any of the heinous things he did in his life uh me personally i'm the type to forgive and forget especially considering the fact that i do not know or nor am i aware of what he has been doing since then but everything that i am known or what has been provided in front of me uh gives me the sense that this man has turned his life around maybe not entirely but he at least hasn't done anything that heinous since what occurred in the late 80s uh so with that being said jeepers creepers 3 had a tough time getting started basically due to his background and the fact that that background was becoming more more uh popular on the online there were threads talking about it several stuff because many people were unaware of aware of this when he when he initially did the first two films so when the third film was trying trying to get made his background was one of the reasons hinted at for not being for being one of the reasons the third film struggled to see the light of day uh it's the reason why the third film had the budget that it did i don't think too many people wanted to work with him from reports that came out another thing that's been a hindrance in regards to victor salva is that with him being attached to it jeepers creepers 3 there were people attached to the project and then for whatever reason they just dropped out um i don't know why that is but someone had it's not hard to assume that it probably has something to do with victor salva's past and it's easy to understand why why these actors or actresses want to step down everyone's entitled to their own opinion and what they feel is best for themselves uh but by no means do i think that someone who decides to work with salva is condoning any of the acts he did in his past because they're making a movie they're not doing what he did in his past that's not what's being done here they're out here making a movie now some people are willing to overlook that and put their differences aside and collaborate with the gentleman to make this movie possible some people are not uh they think what he did was very unforgiving and i can understand that to a degree but personally if we are ever going to see a jeepers creepers 4 or anything else regarding this franchise i think victor is going to have to come to terms with the fact that he needs to sell the rights or somehow get the property in someone else's hands because i feel like the backlash would be kind of decreased a little bit if he's not the one that's full that's like shoehorning this project uh, or piloting it rather i feel like they um uh, i feel like if victor lets someone else take over someone close to him someone that he trusts i feel like they can do something great with this series once again i feel like we can have a film that gets a decent budget uh stellar cast stellar production stel stellar visual effects bring the creeper back to his mysterious ways uh and also adding to that victor i think he has he hasn't done any other projects really outside of the jeepers creepers films that have made him so known and i think that's probably one of the reasons why his past came back to bite him because he made us he made a film in the early 2000s that has gained a very big cult following since its release and it's well it's well appreciated amongst the horror community many people still watch it to this day everyone talks about the first two films and everyone talks about how bad the third movie was if we're ever going to see anything else regarding the series i think he will have to just find someone to like take over the rankings from him because it seems like no one wants to work with him 
the past is how tragic that is his past is never going to be he, he's never going to run away from this it seems it seems like his past is always coming up in a discussion somewhere and to a degree that kind of makes me a little upset not because um i don't think that he should be getting belittled like this maybe some people do take it too far but it's just a simple fact that he create he did create a character here that has potential to be explored and we just can't do it because of his past and i feel like if he wants to let the fans get what they want out of this character if in some way possible he should try to find somebody to take over and i don't i don't think it's that he's not trying maybe he isn't and simply no one wants to be involved with the project that he created so with that being said i'm really hoping that we do see something else from this property in the near future but if it's ever going to be up to the the, the status that the first two films was first two films were was with a somewhat decent budget of around maybe 10 to 12 million dollars uh i think victor salvo would have to step down a bit he can still write the movie i don't want anyone else writing the movie but for us to fully get what we want as fans i think victor is going to have to step down in some capacity because not to i don't think a lot of people want to work with this gentleman uh, and that's just a sad truth because I think the Creeper is, in a, is a unique character and there's a lot of potential here. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. Do you agree or do you think the series should just die as it is? Me personally, I'd be fine if they never made another film because the third movie put such a bad taste in my mouth. But let me know down in the comment section below what your thoughts are. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. I will see you guys in the next one.